Hello students, in some previous videos, we discussed on the process called adsorption, its types like physical and chemical, mechanism, effect of pressure on adsorption and adsorption from solution phase. So after discussing on all these points, do you find its application? Yes, there are variety of application of it in day-to-day -day life and also in the industrial field. So let us find a discuss its application one by one. The first application that is production of high vacuum. A vessel can be made into highly vacuum by adsorbing the traces of air present in it by charcoal. Charcoal which is a very good adsorbent. So we can make a high vacuum. Next one is gas mask. Gas mask consists of activated charcoal which adsorb the poisonous gases. So where we where these gas masks are used these gas masks are commonly used by the miners. That means the workers working in the mines because there are poisonous gases like carbon monoxide, methane, etc. in the atmosphere of coal mine. Therefore, these masks help to purify the air for breathing. Control of humidity. Silica and the aluminium gels are used as a very good adsorbents for removing the moisture and control the humidity. So we can find the packets of silica gel or aluminum gel which is used in library. It can be used in museums and it is used in some electronic devices so that to prevent the spoilage of electronic devices and the musical instrument by using the silica gel and uh, we can find it is in the bottles and some containers you can find silica gel and even the silica gel packets are used in almiras to control the humidity in the almiras so that the clothes will not get spoiled. Separation next is the separation Inert gases. Due to the difference in the degree of adsorption of gases by the charcoal, a mixture of noble gases can be separated by adsorption. So if you want to separate the noble gases from a mixture, we can use the method of adsorption. In curing diseases, because a number of drugs are used to kill the germs by getting adsorbed on them. Let us take one example. For example, the use of uh, any ailments on the cut or wounds that actually get adsorbed on the germs and it kills the germs. Sixth one, froth flotation process. This is one of the process which we are going to discuss in the next chapter. That is a general principle and isolation of element. In that, uh, in, in this process, the impurities present in the sulphide ore can be separated by adsorption. Details will be going to discuss in next chapter. Next, adsorption indicators. Surface of certain precipitates such as silver bromide let, have property of adsorbing some dyes like eosin etc removal of coloring matter from solution there are many substances such as sugar juices vegetable oil which are colored due to the presence of impurities they can be decolorized by placing in contact with adsorbents like activated charcoal so this method is commonly used in the manufacture of a sugar from cane sugar. 
Next one is in chromatographic analysis. Last year we have learned about chromatographic process analysis in organic. So that is a technique which is used in separation and uh, in this figure also you can see there are mixture of three substances which is shown in different colors and uh, during the chromatographic process we can separate it into the three part separately. So here as we have learned that uh, its principle is based on the difference in the rate of adsorption by each component. So the adsorption process is applicable here also. The last one is heterogeneous catalysis. The catalysis that is the increasing the rate of reaction by using catalyst. The phenomena is called as catalysis and the details of heterogeneous catalysis will be discussing in the next portion of this chapter. So this is also one of the application of adsorbent. So let us discuss what are the points we have discussed here. Application of adsorption. The first one production of high vacuum. Second one in making gas mask which is used by the workers working in coal mines. Third one to control humidity. The packets of silica gel are used to control humidity in different areas. Fourth one separation of inert gases. Fifth one in curing diseases that means the action of drug work on the principle of adsorption. Fruit flotation process, adsorption indicators, removing of coloring matter like the sugar raw sugar solution which is colored can be made colorless by the use of adsorption process chromatographic analysis and heterogeneous catalyzer so these are the different points we have discussed there are again a number of variety of application but the important points we have discussed so this is all about this video in the next video we'll be discussing on the the next portion that is catalysis so today's work for you you need to write any three important application of adsorption in your notebook so thank you everyone